Hi guys, and uh, thanks for coming back to the channel. Um, I am going to talk about this Blackwing point guard today. Uh, this came in a couple days ago, and I really didn't have much time to do anything other than look at it. Um, but I put it back in the box for the video purposes. It's got a cool little like presentation where you just kind of pull that thing out, and slide it on out. The box is nice, but that's not what we're here for. We're here for this thing. The this one is the matte black finish. Uh, this I got for free as a subscriber. Um, or I had to pay shipping. But um, yeah, they're selling for like $10 on the website right now. And you can get like a silver uh, aluminum one as well. Um, so uh, the big question is, does this thing fit on a black wing? Um, I've tried it with a few different pencils uh, to mixed results. So they have a video on their website explaining how your point is not supposed to go all the way in, you know, like this. You know, it's supposed to just kind of rest at the at the very top. So with that being said, uh, the way they say to do it, it kind of works. Now it's a little tight on my 602 here, um, but... I didn't really get any noticeable uh, markings that some people have complained about. Um, now this is, you know, been in my hand. It's warmed up a little bit. That was one of the questions that people were talking about. You know, is it because of the of the warmth? Uh, you know, hey, it was in the it was in the cold, and you just pulled it right out of the box. You know, once you got home and opened it up, and maybe it was still a little cold. Uh, I kind of noticed that as well um when i first got it uh this is in the blackwing pearl it as well is not really there's a little bit of divoting there i think that's from when i was trying it earlier though um the regular palomino blackwing it's a little tight fit too i've also noticed but no worse for the wear. I've also noticed that if you kind of like line up the hexes, which is kind of weird because it's round here, but uh, that it kind of helps a little bit. Um, another thing that I've noticed is that it does not fit Japanese pencils at all. Uh, this Tombow 2558B is... It's just way too thick for it. Um, I have had a few other pencils that, that I've tried out that it won't fit on. Um, Musgrave Ceres, too big. Uh, but the General's pencils are too small. Um, the Ticonderoga, way too small, way too thin. I've tried it on a bunch of different. Actually, the yellow pencils that work the best for it is the really, really cheap just straight Dixon number two HB. That thing fits like a glove, goes all the way in, and it is beautiful coming out. Uh, $10 point guard for a three cent pencil. Um, the Casemates, uh, which would therefore be, you know, Hindustan Pencil Company, fits like a glove as well. This is the Casemates one from Walmart, the cheap number two. The more expensive cheap number two from Casemates from Walmart, also from Hindustan Pencil Company. Uh, fits like a glove as well. Comes right out. Um, all of the Apsara and Nataraj pencils, except for the Platinum, work. They fit like a glove. This is the uh, Nataraj Pop. Perfectly. This is the Nataraj Ruby. That one slides right down perfectly. Nataraj Bold. Perfect. Uh, I have a Musgrave Harvest here that it fits perfectly in, but the Musgrave Ceres, it does not. It is a little tight on this, actually, but it does not make any, it did not make any markings. Uh, I had one pencil, this uh, Blackfeet Indian pencil, number two. Um, I do not wear, know where this came from. Uh, I believe yeah, I got it in a trade. Okay, so it fits like a glove one way, and then like if I twist it, falls right off. 
Yeah. So it's weird if I twist it around a little bit, I can get it to kind of fit perfectly. But then if I just twist it right there, it'll fall right off. So that's weird. Um, yeah, Absera Beauty fits perfectly on. So they actually should just rebrand this and sell it to Hindustan Pencil Company because it basically fits most of their pencils really well. Um, so if you really want the Blackwing look and it to fit on a uh, Blackwing pencil, you can make a Hackwing with your Epsera Absolute or any other Epsera. And if you do it like this, maybe no one will be any of the wiser. Um, I don't know if this thing is worth $10. Uh, I would not have got this if it was not free. Um, but the, you know, the thing was it was free. It's kind of a collector's deal, I guess, you know, because who knows, they may stop selling them because they're not very good. Um, but yeah, they're 10 bucks on their website. Uh, if you're like a black wing collector and it's something that you feel like you got to have, uh, I would, uh, go ahead and get it. Uh, if, but, there are way cheaper and way better uh, point guards out there for sure. Um, another thing I will definitely say, it does not fit the Jumbo Palomino Golden Bear. I think it is smaller than the Jumbo Palomino Golden Bear. Uh, I just got this in a trade as well, and uh, I'm excited for it. I, I don't know if I'm going to sharpen it or not. I just like it and like to look at it. And I really don't like to use jumbo pencils. So, um, but it is really comfortable and really cool in the hand. Um, so I may just kind of use this as my like Johnny Carson pencil that I just tap around and point at people. All right. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, happy holidays to everyone out there that is celebrating, uh, this month and, uh, look forward to a year in review and a, uh, more detailed write-up on the Palomino Blackwing uh, point guard. Thanks a lot.